Welcome everyone. Uh, today we're going to do uh, another video about uh, SSH. Let's check here. I have here my Windows machine. So I will go to install the SSH again. Here, this is apps and features. And I will manage optional features, add feature. And scroll down here. I have here the client. So I'm going to install the client and I'm going to install the open SSH server. So, but actually both now it's uh, going to start. So here is like if I'm going to type in SSH, nothing here. So still, and actually you need to uh, make sure that, uh, that you are in the, you, what, what user you are now it's like, like my user is client so I'm going to open here this you can open it from the computer like type computer management here this is a computer management and I'm going to see the users what the, what the users in this machine so until this uh, will do so I'm going here users <coughs> and i have it and this is the sshd if you want also to see it here this is this is administrators and network configuration operators so it's gonna take time sometimes and also you need to open services so i'm going to open services to make sure that have everything and scroll down in here scroll down so you're gonna find this is open ssh the agent now and it still is not running so and here like we are installing now uh, open ssh server and also like the console like when you run so like this is the run and do this is run and here this is the MMC so okay actually it's both actually working the same like when you're doing this if you want to open it from the console or you just open it from the computer conf this is a uh, the computer configuration so actually the same like here this is a file add remove snap you see this is a computer management add for the local finish okay and here this is a computer actually it's both the same so you can make it from both both sides so no I will not save this one so now I have actually two here like I will refresh it that's just F5 and I will refresh it and here I have the agent, which is here like if you type again here SSH, nothing. So I will start here. This is the agent and I will start the server. So now I have my SSH. I will need to make it again like this. And this is not okay. Let's check here. Actually, both is running now. And I will check my check the stat minus a, and I will check this is fine screen. Sorry, going to choose. And here I have my Windows machine, which is the SSH server already running. So I will have my I have here my Linux machine and I will try to connect it to the client machine my client machine so I don't have this one like this so I will SSH the client and the IP address which is the ma my machine here let's check here this is the IP address IP off IP config yes it's here copy it and I have this 
one, paste it here. Yes, I want to connect and that's it. So I be able to connect to the one. So one of the possibilities is that if you cannot connect to the your Windows machine, if you give this permission denied, permission denied, which is the password wrong for the user you enter. So this is my user. Even if I change the password here, I will go to my client machine here and I will go to the users here. This is my client here. So I actually need to set a password here. Like I will set a password for this one. Let's set a new password. So test and new password. So I set a password, the new password. So let's check here. And this is a, my new password. So you see that like one of the possibility that easy you enter the password wrong when you get the permission denied for the SSH. So I will create here a new user. Let's I will call it as a user and I will type password here again the password and here password maybe will expire and here this is my user so I will try to go to this user so SSH user and the same ID address so try to connect yes it will connect so this user it doesn't have the privilege to go to other users because this is here like I have here the client I have here cyber I have this some of trying to go to the client so you see if you go to the client access is denied so I will put this user give this user properties here member of add here find and I will add to the administrators so exit go back again so I will go back like this there client and I can go to the client so I am an administrator of the computer so I have the the full permission to go anywhere now so this is one of the possibility that you have like a problem to connect so now like uh, as I say that like uh, you can connect it from Windows to Linux and li Linux to Windows so it doesn't matter now which which way you want to do it so as it uh, if you want to check also the Ubuntu here this is also a possibility that you can connect from your Windows machine to Linux so I have here SSH user and I will connect to my other machine so I can connect from here so you can if you don't have if you cannot connect from Windows to Linux or Linux to Windows you can use also this application so I will also here like for example I want to see that like someone is connecting trying to connect to my so I will tell minus F bar log position log so let's see here I exit this one let's check now I will try to connect from my Windows machine. So, so you see here, accepted password for the user. Let's see here like this one, and you're gonna see all the information is coming here. So, this is how you detect. So also you can find it also not only from the application, also syslog. You can see it here. I will exit and I will connect again so you see also you detect uh, someone inside your system so and I will go back here like this is the var log so you can find here the log here let's see if I can copy it so you can find the log here so uh, if you have any question also write it in the comment I will try to do more videos about this uh actually the main problem like it maybe it has something with the password if also you want to change your uh, 
if you want to change your port like for example i will go here before before i finish this video i will go to etc ssh so now i will go to sshd sshd config and i will change the port size like i have here my port is 30 so the default port is 22 so i will service ssh restart so if you want to change the port so now i will go to my windows machine here and i want to try to connect to my linux so sorry here so it says that the uh, connect uh, connection refused so i will minus b and search so i will try now i can connect with with another port so is this oh sorry so yeah it's exactly because i'm doing it wrong yeah sorry <laughs> ah yeah so it says here this is the connection refuse from my client from my windows client to this one so minus p here oh sorry minus p 30 and here so it will connect to your linux machine so this is my linux machine and the other one it's I don't release so uh, if you have also another question if you want to do some more like I want to you want me to dig more in the uh, in the SSH I will try to do more videos about this also uh, if you have a question also why I connect with free uh, RDB uh, also I will do another video about why I can connect my uh, Windows machine. Uh, I will just like fixing this problem. Like I know many guys like you need to secure more like for your remote disk. So you allow connection to this computer, and this is allow connection only from computer you using this one. So I know there are many uh, of you like uh, trying to our desktop. So I will try to compare between do both actually from our desktop and uh, free RDB and uh, really really thank you for your comments and your feedback and thank you for watching